Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to share with you a couple of my August favorites. You know, I know many of us are not out there shopping and spending a ton of money. And I know I'm fortunate that at times I have products sent to me. But like you, I am watching my wallet as much as possible. So I'm going to share with you some stuff that I've purchased, some stuff that I've already talked about that was sent to me originally and my feelings about them now and why they might be a favorite or not. So I'm going to try to keep the video short. If you're interested, please stay tuned. So by the time you're seeing this, oh my gosh, August is almost over, or maybe it will be over. I'm not too sure when this will get published. But trying to think and reflect on August was a very, for me, it was a very emotional month. Many of you know that my dad passed away in July and um, that I struggled with coming up with a eulogy for him. And it's kind of interesting somehow Two days before his memorial service, it just came to me. It, it just came to me. And, um, but, but nonetheless, it was an emotional, emotional month. So I haven't got, not gone on this, any kind of shopping sprees or anything of that nature, but there are some things that I love that I have bought, that I will continue to buy, that I want to share with you. And I'm going to start off with my earrings. <laughs> I happen to like jewelry. I have a lot of crystal. I have a lot of um, Swartzkis. I also have a lot of pearls. Many of you have probably seen some of the pearls that I have. I, I just love pearl jewelry. I love silver jewelry. I love white gold. I love any jewelry. Anyways, a while back, I noticed, or I'd watched a couple of reviews, and I noticed that Wendy from Life with Wendy was also uh, a jewelry maker. So, I went to her Facebook page, I checked out her stuff. I said, oh, I really like some of this stuff. So I contacted Wendy and she put together a surprise package for me. I, you know, I mean, what I paid for the surprise package and what I got, what I got far exceeded the monetary amount I paid for it. I was absolutely thrilled. She put, to, she had a ton of earrings. I'm gonna probably enclose a little B-roll here so you can maybe see from when I did it, but she, she had a ton of earrings. Um, she put together, she get a face mask that was a scarf. It was just absolutely, it goes really nice with blue outfits. And um, anyways, I love the earrings. I love jewelry. I love everything about it. So that has definitely been a favorite. When I went to Bar Harbor on a camping trip, I, I brought a bunch of her earrings with me. And uh, when I went into town or had an occasion to really want to put jewelry on, I put I put those on. So my life with Wendy, I'll link her information. She's a fellow YouTuber. She's just a, a sweet little lady, and I don't know if she's little. I've never met her. <laughs> she could be taller than me. <laughs> Who knows, right? Anyways, I will definitely link her information below. The other thing that has been an all-time favorite so far, and this was initially gifted to me. I have no idea now how long I've owned these two pieces, but Julia, a jewelry company reached out to me quite a while ago and they offered me some of their to look at their website first they they gave me one piece and then another piece to check out something that i want and one of the things that i selected was this wedding set this is very very close to my real wedding set and i just figured i could travel with it i could it would it would be nice i wouldn't have to worry i could leave my real stuff in a safety deposit box and i didn't have to worry when i went away and then they reached back out to me and said pick another piece so of course i'm a ring person i love the rings and uh and i picked this daisy diamond -y -y thing uh ring and so anyway why this has been my favorite it at least has been about four or five maybe six months now that i've had these i have I don't have a dishwasher. The dishwasher is me. So I've washed dishes. I've been outside. I've been on the ocean. I took these to Maine with me, like I said. I have been impressed with how they have held up. So if you are looking for a piece, I'll link their website. I'm not an affiliate member. Um, I think 
I think maybe if you go through, I'll see if I can find Taz's link. Taz is, maybe if you go through her link. But anyways, I really, really have enjoyed the pieces that I have from Julia. They've been beautiful. But more importantly, they have held up. Even my most vocal critic at times, my mother, never could tell that I was wearing a piece that wasn't my own wedding set. So, yes, I absolutely love my Julia pieces that I have. Again, I only own two, own two, the two rings, but they have been a favorite of mine. And I highly, highly recommend them if you want to get a piece that isn't, you know, isn't um, your real, your real jewelry or... You know, maybe you just want to get something that looks really, really nice like that, inexpensive. You don't want to spend the money for the real thing. So anyways, I absolutely love it. The the other thing I, I will tell you is that I have some, I, I think I have two of these that were actually sent to me. These are the fake buns. I have one that's got a little clip here. So it all depends on how I wear my hair. This one, I sometimes pin just if I want a light little flinchy thing on the top. Is that a word, flinchy thing? I'll just, you know, clip this on to the top of the ponytail on top of my head. This one is my favorite, I must say, because it has the long trendles. I can't remember how long ago. I have, I bought two of them. I actually one that's one still in the package. But this is my color, very close to my bio hair. So when I wear my hair up, Whenever I put my hair up and I have these hanging down, people just think I have ex my own hair with extensions hanging down off the ponytail. But I will tell you, this has been my, fun, my I think my best look. I love, I love this look. When I wear it, I feel young, sassy. Uh, I just enjoy putting my hair up and then having this one wrapped around. And also I have, I have several without any of the trendles. But I will, I will say that my fake wraps or my my bun wraps uh, my alternate hair wraps have been a true favorite of mine this month because I've been out and about a lot and when I'm out and about it's so much easier just to clip my hair back and forget about it the other thing that I always love is my jade roller I don't talk about it enough I know I should I have a couple of different jade rollers I think I got this off of Amazon um, but you can find them in TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but I love my jade roller. I will roll my serums in. I will, I mean, I'll use this an awful lot, especially the small part that I go right under my eye bags with. So my jade roller, I, I mean, gosh, it might be $6. I typically, after I use it, I rinse it off. I typically keep it in the refrigerator. But even if I don't keep it in the refrigerator, the jade stays cold. It really does. And so we're cool. And it's just a really, I really like it a lot. The, the other thing, and I don't even remember, I just bought this. I think I threw out the packaging. But I think this, I just got this in Bradley's. So I haven't been going to the nail salon, as you can tell. Um, I've been trying to do and let my own nails try to get strong. I, I'm, uh, I eat my cuticles. I bite my cuticles. When I get nervous, I bite my nails. Instead of my nails, I bite my cuticles. So I'm trying to really work on that. But my cuticles are a royal mess. But anyways, I haven't been going to the nail salon, and I have missed having a good pedicure. In the early winter, I did a foot peel. And I'm probably about ready to do another foot peel, but I haven't done it. But I have this. Now, this is the grady. It's the metal part. This, this really works your calluses, but you have to be super careful. You can't be going all different directions with this. It's one way and back, one way and back. And, but you can really get rid of some really ugly calluses. And my feet can have ugly calluses. I love the going barefoot. I love wearing flip-flops and my feet, because I'm barefoot all the time, even going outside, I'm always barefoot. My feet really pay the penalty for running around barefoot. So I absolutely love my callus scraper. <laughs> I think, I think, gosh, maybe five bucks, six bucks. Walmart, Amazon. I absolutely love it. And, and it usually stays in the shower. So, and that's usually when I, when I would do my feet, when I'm washing my body, I do this. So I love this. This has been an all time favorite. And I just picked up this, um, travel size from my hairdresser. I actually have a big bottle of this, but I wanted to travel size. And this is the all nutrient sculpting gel. This is a body amplifier. I think I've been using this, and I buy it from my hairdresser. I do believe you can get it on Amazon, but I think I've been using this for at least maybe 
eight or nine years. Now my bio here is very thin, so I need all the help I can get. I put this on wet before I either blow dry it or before I use any, any kind of heat. I put this on and it really does help my fine thin hair get some body. Now, after my hair is dry and I'm styling it, you know, that's when I might use my helium or an other spray that also gives body. But when you have super thin hair, you need all the body you can get. And this has been an all-time favorite and continues to be a favorite of mine. And I think my last favorite, I think it's my last favorite, my last favorite has to be the, I look forward to this every August, and we go to Bar Harbor, Maine. It has to be the sunsets that we see on Western Bay. This year, we didn't have a huge, dramatic sunset, but I love sitting outside, having a campfire, and watching the sun go down. And as you can see by this little video clip, we have a beautiful, beautiful view. Western Bay, of course, it's the western, you know, so it makes sense we'll see the sunset. But we normally have an amazing backsplash when that sun goes down, and so, my all-time favorite is watching the sunsets in August. So, yeah. So those are my favorites. Aside from every single one of you who watch my videos and support the channel and all of my YouTube friends and ladies and people that I, I feel really connected to, you're all my favorites. Those are some of my favorites. So you all are included in that as well. Anyways, Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Thumbs up the video and subscribe if you haven't. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Bye, guys. Oh, I forgot. Wigs. Yeah, wigs. Yeah, my wigs. I should have I should have talked about that when I had my... Anyways, on my head right now is a wig that was sent to me complimentary from Wig Studio One, which I'm going to do a review, where by the time you've seen this, the review might already have been out for their channel, Wig Studio One. This is Henry Magoo's Farrow wig, and I... Uh, this is such a realistic density and style. I absolutely love it. So this has definitely been a favorite of mine this month. <laughs> now I think I'm done. Bye, guys.